beautiful here. This is the view outside our room at my dad's house. It is so amazing. I love all the green. And then right there is the sea. It's our first full day here in Barcelona. I just got myself ready. I did my makeup, just kept it very light. I washed my hair. We're going to have some breakfast here at the house and then we're going to go to the city and just walk around, maybe do some window shopping and have lunch there and just enjoy the weather. It is so beautiful the sky is completely clear and it's super nice to be here with my family as well i do miss them a lot since we don't live in the same country so that's really nice i think this is the most beautiful oatmeal i've ever seen how gorgeous is that it's like art <laughs> and this is mo's plate how beautiful Look at these gorgeous flowers that I just got from Mo. It is actually our two year anniversary today. It is the best day. Yeah. It's like our birthday. Thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. They are so pretty. show you as well what we are doing and I'm going to show you uh, the vacation from my side so we've just been walking around on Passage de Gracia and we're about to go into one of my favorite stores here which is this one it's called Santa Ilulia is that how you say it Santa Aulalia it's a really nice store, it's like a boutique, it's really nice. So I want to show you guys a little bit inside. Which is 
the little town where my dad lives and now we've just got into the beach and we're going to be having dinner here all of us my family's joining us as well this is what it looks like and that's the restaurant right on the beach it's so beautiful here so peaceful so we're gonna get some food now because i am starving Good morning guys, I just woke up, I put my gym clothes on, we are going to go and do a little workout, um, there's a gym here by the beach which is so beautiful, like the gym is nice but the view is amazing and then I think we're just going to have a really chill, easy day uh, by the beach, I don't want to wear any makeup today, I just want to let my skin breathe, I do love to get myself ready and put a bit of makeup on but there's something so refreshing and nice about just leaving your skin bare. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this day, it's another beautiful, gorgeous day, the sky is completely clear, it's sunny. It's just, oh, I just, I love being here in Barcelona. It's one of my favorite places ever. So that's the plan for today. And then I think later for dinner, we're just all gonna stay here at the house. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took for me, Do you have a message for Annie that she, she's, when she's going to open this camera? Yeah, I love you. It was very nice to have you, and I'm going to see you when I get back.
we are on our way to Costa Brava, which is a little town about two hours outside of Barcelona. It's apparently really cute. I've never been there, but my family's talked about it a lot. But apparently there's a few smaller, I guess, little towns within this Costa Brava area that are really cute and they have nice little beaches. We don't really know what's there, so we are going to explore. Yesterday we had a super chill day. I didn't vlog much, but I uh, went to the gym in the morning and then we spent pretty much the whole day by the beach. And then um, last night we had a home cooked meal at home with my whole family. It was really nice. We did this like little karaoke, like spontaneous karaoke. Mo sang, what was the song that you sang? I sang Scorpion Wind, uh, Wind of Change. Wind of Change. I sang um, Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. And your father was singing uh, Frank Sinatra, Frank. My Way. That's one of his favorite songs. So it was really fun. So the exact town that we're going to in Costa Brava is called Lila Gostera. Lia Gostera. Lia Gostera. It looks super beautiful. So I'll show you guys that when we get there. We just got to our first stop. And you guys, it's so cute. Look at the sea. It's like turquoise. The color of the water is so beautiful. And I love all these little colorful beach umbrellas. So, so cute. There's some boats over there. We're gonna go to that part right there. It looks really pretty, so I wanna have a closer look. Pick up the dice, give it a roll. You never really know which way to go. Feel it inside, feel the spark. Lift you up when you're falling apart. We think we know it all. We stand 10 feet with our head under, head under ground I think I've seen it all But I've come so far But it just got me high till I broke down Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where you're So we've just got into Playa de Tamartio <laughs> I probably said that completely wrong This is the second beach location also so so cute somebody, somebody know of a place where the green is covered by snow every time that your eyes speak it's time to let go does somebody 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 know We're going to the third beach location. There are so many beautiful beaches here. It's actually the first time that we've ventured outside of Barcelona, except for Casa del Fels where my dad lives. But we've never been to this side of Barcelona and it's so, so beautiful. There are so many cute beaches and little towns and it's not too crowded as well. These areas are really nice. If you guys are coming to Barcelona, definitely um, check out some of these beaches that we went to. Oh my God, this view is so, so nice. Look at that. Amazing. So I think this is the third location that we're going to. I think it's the little drive down to there. This is our view, sitting at dinner. We just ordered this huge paella. This is a, a vegetable paella that we're gonna share and it smells really, really good. Thank you. It's 
So guys, the day is over for today and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna have dinner now with Annie and enjoy the rest of the day. Good afternoon everyone. It is Friday today. We have left my dad's house and we've checked into our hotel for the weekend. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the beginning of this vlog, but we stayed with my dad for a few days in Casa del Fels and then we decided to have just a few days um, by ourselves here in the city. This is our room behind us. It's very cute and the view is actually really nice. This is our view from our room at the hotel. We are right in the city. Behind us is Passage de Gracia where um, all the big shops are. And then this is like the other street adjacent to it. And this is our room here at the hotel. There's Mo. This is my little dress of the day from ASOS. So we're just waiting for our suitcases to arrive. I think we'll just unpack and do all that stuff um, later on today because we want to enjoy the day. It's another beautiful, warm, sunny, gorgeous day. Once the bags get here, I think we're going to go and just have a stroll around in the city, maybe get something to eat because we love to eat. <laughs> but yeah, it was so nice to be with my family. And Casa del Fels is a beautiful area. It's very calm. It's more a family area and they have lots of like houses and stuff. But I'm very excited to be staying in the city um, for the next few days. I think we're going to get some bikes tomorrow just have a little stroll around and just enjoy the weather i think they have a pretty cool rooftop at this hotel which is one of the reasons we wanted to stay here i think there's a pool and like a nice kind of lounging area so we want to go and check that out right now and i'll show you guys um when we're up there we run away so let us up when we're We are back in the room. I just got myself changed because it is so hot outside. So I just wanted to wear something a little bit more simple. Uh, so this is my new outfit of the day. I'm just wearing uh, some denim shorts. These are from a gold. And then this top is from H&M. I've got my new Dior bag and my new Dior shoes. You could actually also wear it crossbody like that. So your hands are free. I like it both ways. Good morning everyone it is Saturday today I'm just about to get myself ready do my makeup and I thought I would film it for you guys in case some of you have been wondering how I've been doing my makeup or what products that I'm using I've already done my skincare but something that I like to do is just spray a little bit of this facial spray um, before I start my makeup it is the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator I just give myself a little spritz of that it smells so good and um, it's just a nice little extra hydration for the skin. For foundation, I'm still really loving the Elia True Skin Serum Foundation that I showed you guys in my last vlog. But the color isn't 100% my match. It doesn't have the perfect undertone for my skin. So I mix in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. This is in the shade 9 Dark. Just do about one pump on the back of my hand. A little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. Next, I apply some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. 
Then I like to go in with a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's a really beautiful glow product. I just take this on the high points of my face. A little bit there and just a little bit down my nose. And then with the same foundation brush I used before, I just press it into the skin. It just really looks like your own skin, like healthy, glowy, happy skin. Then I'm going to take a bit of my trusty Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm going to dip my beauty blender in there and just set the under eye concealer. I never ever have problems with creasing when I set my concealer this way. And I just use the tiniest, tiniest amount. And I will set between my brows. Just right there where I get a little bit oily throughout the day. Then I'm going to do my brows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. I first just brush my brows upwards. Then I take the darker brown color and just fill in any sparse areas. Then I just set them in place with a little bit of brow gel. This one is from Ico. Then a little bit of bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And just a little bit as an eyeshadow as well. I just pop it in my crease. And just a little bit more under the eye. Then I'm going to go in with this bronzer from Becca. This is their Sunlit Bronzer in Bronzed Bondi. It is gorgeous. I've gotten a bit of a tan since I've been here, so I just have to bronze up my face a little bit more to match my body. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. And apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I also really like taking this Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner pencil in Marigold and I will just apply this right here into the very inner half of my lower lash line. Just makes the eyes sparkle a little bit more. I'm just going to take a little bit of blush. This is Peaches from MAC. I'm just going to put a very, very small amount on just the apples of my cheeks and blend backwards. I'm so devastated. My Becca Sunrise Waves bronzer just smashed and broke. So I can't use this one. I might try to fix that, but for a little bit of a glowy uh, finish, I'm going to use this highlight from Becca instead. This is the Champagne Pop. I'm just taking a little bit more in the inner corners of the eyes. And then lastly for lips, I take my Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC. I like to just slightly overline my lips. Then I just take a little bit of this Kula uh, Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the color Tan Line. Just kind of dab it a little bit over my lips. So just to set everything in place, I take a bit of my Urban Decay d Slate Makeup Setting Spray and I just mist that all over. That's how I've been doing my makeup whilst we've been here in Barcelona. So just very bronzy, healthy looking, um, nothing too much. I will make sure to link all the products that I used down below in the description box as well. So now I'm ready for the day. I might just put a few curls in my hair. I'm so ready to eat. We're going to go to Flex and Kale for breakfast, which is one of my favorite restaurants here. I am dressed and ready to go. This is my outfit today. This is a new jumpsuit from Zara. And then I have my new Dior bag, uh, my little Chanel espadrilles, and that's my look for today. So we are on our way now to get something to eat. 
we are going to one of my favorite places here in Barcelona, which is Flex and Kale. They have really good, healthy options. Last night we went to another really great restaurant. It was called The Green Spot. I would also highly recommend that. I had the quinoa and kale salad, which was parking. delicious. Mo had a pizza, which was also really good. I had a bite of that. And um, we had edamame. And this beet and avocado tartare it was so, so good. We're now biking by the beach. There is the W Hotel, which is quite iconic here in Barcelona. And that's the beautiful beach. We're back at the hotel and the game has just started. It is Germany against Sweden and I'm convinced Sweden's going to win. For sure not. Deutschland no. gewinnt. <laughs> Deutschland, Deutsch. It's Sweden versus Germany. What an epic like pairing <laughs> sitting here at the hotel bar one point for sweden yeah. whoop, whoop. and there it is so sweden lost germany won but it was a good game as i said two to one he was right, he was right. We just came out here on the terrace and the view is so gorgeous. It is midsummer tonight, so they're doing celebrations with some fireworks. I don't know if you guys can see them on camera. Oh, there's one. There was one over there before. So magical up here. What a nice way to end our vacation, right baby? With fireworks. And this romantic, romantic view. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday today. It's our last day in Barcelona. We have to go to the airport in about three hours or so. We have to drop the car and then check in and everything. And right now we're going to lunch with my family. They've come to the city. We're going back to the Green Spot, which is a really great, like healthy restaurant. We went there on Friday and the food was amazing, super delicious. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Last night we had a pretty late dinner or it wasn't like it was like a midnight snack but I had lots of bread because there wasn't really much like on the menu so I just pretty much ate bread in my stomach I can feel it sometimes you just don't have all the healthy options and yeah it happens but now I'm very much looking forward to a really healthy meal and then um, we're gonna meet my brother afterwards and just kind of have a walk around I, I, I like the combination out of like being a little bit in a like a chilled area we have been staying like five days at Casa de Felt which mm -hmm. was very relaxed and then we had like a pretty nice weekend in Barcelona which is more the city life yeah and it was a good combination a i like that place. and i think we should do that again it was such a nice trip honestly it was so much fun i love being here it's one of my favorite places and i also love that you have like city and then the beach it's not often where you have that combination this is the avocado and beet tartare kale chips and this is fried cauliflower with i think a spicy bean dip